So if you're just like me and you want to add in a texture but you can't be stuff UV unwrapping, BAM! Right here. So let's go ahead and add a texture to Blender. Up the top, click Shading. We've got our material. From here, Shift A to Search. Image, Enter. Plot that there. Color to Color. Now let's go find our texture. Open, Downloads, probably this image. Open. There we go. Mmm, lovely. whoop de doo it is now on the model. However, it is scattered across everywhere with no consistency. Let's make stuff happen. So with the Node Wrangler add-on turned on, edit, preferences, type up here, node, and put a little tick next to Node Wrangler. I can select our image, control T, and that's just gonna give us a few more options. Now, at the moment, we are looking at the UV coordinates. Now yours could be all fluffy, they could be stretched, so on and so forth. Let's select our model, press tab to go into edit mode. Make sure we've got everything selected by double tapping A, U. What we can do is just go Smart UV Project and Oakley Doakley. However, if you want to have a different option in layout, we can also go U, Cubic Projection. And that'll project the texture from all three axes. Z -z 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 like a box. Now we've got some other options as well. We can go generate it into the vector and it's <laughs> generated is pretty much like the cubic projection. However, we need to come into the image texture and change it from flat to box. So generated goes off the bound. So obviously if the, the object is stretched in one specific direction, then that's the, how the texture will be stretched as well. So with the blend, we can see that we've got a little bit of stretching. What we can do is increase the blending and you'll see kind of specifically in this area, they kind of merge together, kind of removing that seam. Now object goes off the object scale. As long as the object scale is applied, it'll be fine. So even if you take this material and put it onto other models, the scaled texture will remain the same size. Another option is we can always use the window and this will project how the texture will look like directly onto the model from the view that we currently have. You can also go off the camera, so it will take whatever direction the camera is looking at to slap on that texture. What do you want to know next? 